Oh, oh fried wow. chicken, mama. That's the way I like it. <laughs> How are you today? I am good. How about you? I'm solid. I'm gonna get the <laughs> spices for our spicy chicken. Well, Ooh. you know I've got buttermilk. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, you got the buttermilk. Man, I love this recipe. It is. It takes me right back to my childhood with my family. Oh, I love it. Although it might be a little bit healthier, we always had the skin on our fried chicken. You did? Oh, oh yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, hey, two, two cups of flour in here, right? Right, and two cups of buttermilk. Awesome. Spices. Cayenne, got to have cayenne in there. Make it a little kick. This is a little bit of onion powder, garlic powder. <laughs> And then paprika goes in here as well. Now, this is just a regular paprika, but they also have smoked, which I am a huge, huge fan of. I think it just adds like a basic smokiness under it and kind of gives it a little another level of flavor. So that's my favorite, but I didn't have any. So we'll go with the regular. Salt and pepper. And get a fork. I get to use a little kick. A little oh, hot sauce. Uh, <laughs> What I find for this particular recipe, because we're gonna have it with a biscuit, is that, you know, you want people to sort of be able just to eat it. Right. And like a sandwich and it's not a big old mess because we're having a picnic. It's that important biscuit to chicken ratio. It's a biscuit <laughs> to chicken ratio, y'all. So what we need to do is we're gonna take these chicken breasts, which no bone, nothing like that. It cooks really easily. You can flatten them out so it's nice and you can even make it the size of your biscuit. We're gonna pound these pretty thin so that we can, so it'll take all the moisture and we're gonna soak them here in a minute in the buttermilk. I find that after you pound them that it's best to kind of cut them in half so that they fit on the biscuits. Yes, that's so, again, that chicken to biscuit ratio. Chicken to biscuit ratio. <laughs> so okay, that's gonna go into your lovely buttermilk recipe there. So I noticed you didn't put any egg in mm -hmm. this batter. Why, why do we do that? You know, it's just, it, it really isn't <laughs> that necessary. The, the egg helps hold the coating together as you're frying it. This is, it comes out crunchy and it's just, it's not necessary in this particular recipe. Okay. Maybe, and then, maybe eggs don't like to be I know it's too, we don't have the skin on there. My mom said that's always a secret to a good fried chicken is having the skin on there. You know, I do have to agree. We grew up like that too, but eh, it's the 2000s. We gotta watch what we're eating. All right. So, you know, normally, because everybody's coming in a bit, I, this will go back in the fridge. You wanted to give it time right. to like kind of tenderize, maybe a couple of hours would be the best. All right, tell me what you're doing here. I am just gonna take this chicken that's been marinating for two hours to oh. get all that lovely cayenne flavor in it. Okay. Yeah, just chicken. let that drain. Yeah. And then we're gonna dredge it in our flour mixture and get it really nicely really nice coated. And coated. are gonna be so crunchy and awesome. <laughs> All right. About 350 degrees on, on the oil is where we're gonna go with this. And you just wanna do about four minutes on each side, but be sure and watch it, because you don't want them to dry out. Come on, that's gonna be delicious. Fry, baby, fry. <laughs> And the cool thing about this is that there's buttermilk in the uh, coating and then with the, uh, the buttermilk biscuits, it's just gonna be crazy. Crystal, this chicken is going to blow your mind. Well, good. <laughs> I like it when my mind blows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put it on here. Oh, okay. All right. What do you think? Oh, it looks golly. You a biscuit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, it looks delicious. Just plain vegetable oil um, and uh, at 350. Yeah. Nice, huh? It's beautiful. All right, we're gonna let that just cook for a sec. And I know a lot of people use olive oil for cooking, but it's really not good at high temperatures. Yeah, it, it will tend to, it'll start smoking, you know, at a, at a terribly high. And it will also lose its delicate it'll flavor. Go rancid. Yeah. All right, <laughs> they're coming out. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, come on. Oh I'm my super God. jazzed. All right, last boob out. <laughs> shall we make some biscuits? We shall. Let me move this stuff out of your way. Thank you. You're welcome. So we'll wipe down. A tidy kitchen is a happy kitchen. Look at these. <laughs> They're beautiful. Look at these. We are so talented. I know. All right, so I just tear them apart. There's, cause they're, you don't even need to cut them. No, we want these to be bite-sized. So, you know, that's why we made the chicken bite-sized. It fits perfectly on your little biscuit. Oh my God.
Awesome. I'm gonna get the firecracker baked beans. Chicka boom, boom, boom. Chicka boom. Do it. Ah. Uh, so the dish doesn't end up so pretty, but you will be <laughs> so very happy. They're delicious. You don't need to be pretty to be delicious. That's true. <laughs> You are beautiful <laughs> in every way. Can I get a spoon? <laughs> yes. Those look uh, amazing. Smells delicious. Big old scoop on the side. <laughs> you know, it's not a pretty dish, but it is delightful. A little bit more here. And then this dish, lovely, but it is an ugly dish. Oh. Cheers, sister. Cheers. This is pretty. This is this is good sexy shot right here. <laughs> mm. oh, good job. Subscribe to Hungry and feed your food obsession.